So what up everyone, today I'm gonna show you how to make these crystal shiny fake eyes that I use a lot for SFX makeup and other products that I will show you later, I promise. So for now let's get started. First uh, we're gonna use some cold porcelain because this is a cheap way to make them. Um, it's a very light uh, material and it's very cheap like I said before uh, we're gonna take a piece and roll it up until we get a perfect ball like an eyeball um, yep yeah. um, that's not perfect so work on that yeah yeah kind of Yeah, it will work. Next, I'm using this tool to make a hole. You can use any tool that you have. I'm using this because um, this is what I have. Now it's start making a hole. Uh, it doesn't have to be so deep. So just look how I did it. Yeah, like that. Now put it on a little stick and let it dry overnight. Alright, now with another piece of cold porcelain, we're gonna make another eye. Um, this one is going to be flat from one side because I'm gonna be using it for another project. Um, this one is going to be for a fun case that I will do later in another video. So it's very easy, just make a bowl, uh, make it flat from one side like I'm showing you, then do the same process that I did before, and of course let it dry overnight. Once it is completely dry, you're gonna see that it turns kind of yellow, so we're gonna fix that with some acrylic paint, white acrylic paint. The acrylic paint that I'm using is really cheap, like really, really cheap. So it took me like three coats to make it really thick and not milky, so take that in mind. Just paint it and take your time. This is really relaxing. Yeah, really relaxing. Once the paint is dried, you're gonna see that it has like texture on it. So it doesn't matter, we're gonna fix that later. Now with the paint job, I'm gonna be using blue, yellow and white acrylic paint. And black, but I forgot to put it there. So start mixing the paint. I want it green. So I'm making three different shades of green. A darker, a medium and a light one. So I start painting with the light one, then with the medium one and then I put details with the dark one. Then with a tip of a brush and some black paint, I made a dot in the center of the eye and with the rest of the paint I start painting some details.
Next you will need white glue, some red yarn and little pieces of the same red yarn. Next take one of the pieces of the red yarn and start tearing it apart until we get those tiny fibers. This looks kind of difficult but it's just because I'm wearing fucking gloves so it's not difficult. I'm just stupid. By the way, thanks to Elimax for this technique of the red yarn. They already have a tutorial on how to make fake eyes but they use Elimorph plastic aka polymorph plastic. So I think that this is another good way to make them if you can get Elimorph plastic. I will leave you Ellie and Max tutorial on the description box if you want to check it out. They are really amazing, like really amazing. Next, take the white glue and the brush and start putting it on top of the eye. Uh, make sure to put a thick coat of the white glue. Once you have the eye completely covered in white glue, take the fibers of yarn and start placing it on top of the eye. Then put another coat of white glue on top of the yarn. It makes sense? Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah. Then just let them dry for a few hours. And then we are ready to make this bead shine like a crystal. Oh! And I almost forgot it, uh, obviously you have to make the same with the flat eye. Now to achieve the shiny effect, we're gonna use some resin. You know that resin works with part A and part B, you just have to mix equal parts and you're done. Um, you can find resin in any craft store, if I could find it in my town, you can find it in yours. So mix the equal parts and be gentle, you don't want to make bubbles on it, like I did. Now protect your workspace and put the eye in, in a candle. Yeah, I put it in a candle. You can put it anywhere that you want. And then you just have to throw the resin on top of the eye, let it dry overnight, and you're basically done. They look pretty cool, huh? So yeah, fellas, if you like it, don't forget, thumbs up, subscribe, and I will be uploading videos every week. Um, next week I will be doing a monster phone case with these fake guys. So don't miss it. Yeah, subscribe. And see you in hell.